And I thought that was about racing. Not so much. <laughs> new New Year's celebration, no New Year's celebration would be complete without a glass of bubbly. Our next guest can help you get the best bottles to ring in 2019. Joining me now, Wine Spectator Magazine Associate Editor Jillian Sharetta. Jillian, uh, we, let's start with something fizzy, something yes. bubbly, yes. and it's pink. Exactly. Yeah. So sparkling wine, um, as you'll see in 2019, will be thriving at all price points. And New Year's Eve, you're going to need a bottle of bubbly. So to start, um, the first wine I want to talk about is the Uve Ecamp Pinot Noir uh, Rosé Cava. So this is a great value. It's $17 and scored 88 points for Wine Spectator. So it's a sparkling wine from Spain. Um, and it tends to be a little bit more fruit forward than your traditional champagnes. So it is the Spanish version of Prosecco for people who were... Yeah, I like to say the... the the Spanish version of, of champagne, more mm -hmm. or less. Yeah, it's made in the same style as champagne. Do, how does it drink, since we can't open it? Um, it's a lot of red berry fruit. It's a dry, um, sparkling wine. So you get a blood orange, red berry, spice. Um, so it's perfect for, and it's festive with the pink color. So this is a Dom Perignon <laughs> vintage 2008 that I'm right. holding. Yes. So, and so this is not under twenty dollars it's a not no <laughs> this is a splurge at hundred and eighty dollars but scored 96 points from wine spectator it was also our number five wine of the year um, it's you know a lot of people are familiar with Dom Perignon um, but this one is special for two reasons the 2008 vintage which was, a, was an excellent vintage in champagne and also the label commemorates the retirement of longtime winemaker uh, Richard Geoffroy well can I give away something this bottle is actually empty. <laughs> yes. So, True. Not because we got a big so, they, really, they really don't trust us. <laughs> Even with, would we drink warm champagne? Yes, yes, absolutely. On New Year's Eve, if it was over $100 a bottle. What about rosé? Right. So this bottle here um, talks about two different trends that you'll see in 2019. The first being rosé. Rosé was really big in 2018, and it will continue to be big in 2019. In fact, you'll find more serious rosé out there, meaning it's not just meant for summertime, you can enjoy it year round. So this here is Diving into Hampton Water 2017, a rosé from the south of France. Um, it retails for around $25 and scored 90 points from Wine Spectator. In addition, um, this uh, bottle um, is a celebrity wine, and again, something you'll see more of in 2019, but serious celebrity wine, meaning they aren't just putting their name on the label, um, they're getting invested into the winemaking process. And this here is John Bon Jovi's rosé, he makes it with his son, Jesse and winemaker Gerard Bertrand. I have a, it's not just the Bon Jovi name that people would not asso necessarily associate with a mm -hmm. rose wine, but the, the way it's presented, it's a serious wine with right. kind of a goofy name and label right. that most people, maybe they associate, you know, the Hamptons and mm -hmm. the Hampton water. It, it, does that get in the way of selling something that would be kind of a really mm -hmm. 90 point French rose? Right. I think, you know, the reason they call it Hampton water is because John and his family spend a lot of time out in the Hamptons. And so they kind of found this lifestyle also in the south of France. So they worked with a winemaker where they could partner in this vision. Um, but the fact that the quality is there, so that kind of, um, you know, regardless of the name, the quality is there. Let's talk about a Zen Zinfandel, what's mm -hmm. your take? Right, That's so who doesn't love a glass of red wine uh, in, in the wintertime? So this here is um, the Segesio Zinfandel Sonoma County 2016. I chose this wine because it's a high quality California red wine that comes at a fantastic price point. Uh, it, it retails for $26 and scored 93 points for Wine Spectator. Um, the producer has a long-standing reputation for making excellent Zinfandels. So it's a perfect wine for your holiday dinner table. And then your wine of the year. Right. So last but not least, we have uh, this very special wine here. This is the Tunuta San Guido Bulgari Sasakaya 2015, Wine Spectator's Wine of the Year. It's a splurge. It's $245, but scored 97 points. It's the highest scoring wine here on the table. Um, and this is a really special wine. It's from the Tuscany. Bulgari is in the Tuscany region of Italy. Um, it started off as an experiment, this wine, in the 1940s, and now has become an iconic wine from Italy. And the 2015 vintage, excellent vintage in Tuscany, and hence our wine of the year. That was, a Sasakaya was the first good red that I ever had, like 25 years ago. And it is, it is a, a, a great, if you get a good bottle of it, it is a, it's yeah. well worth the splurge. Yeah, so it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc blend. So. Can people find it? 
Yeah. That's one of the problems. My father always complains <laughs> about that is that people talk about these right. wines and then he can't find them in a wine store. Yes, over 17,000 cases of this wine were produced, so you should be able to track it down. That is good to know. <laughs> Jillian, thank you so much. Jillian Shreda, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Pop one or two or many? <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. laughs> I'll be yours. We're all set. I, I, have, I have two cold bottles in my refrigerator that I will be drinking alone with my dogs. Thank you so much, Jillian. Thank you. Nice to see you.